Have you ever been in a cafe and found yourself staring at the menu thinking, I just want some food, I have no idea what I want, I just want to eat. That was where I was at last week, um, in the middle of a writing day. So I'd spent the morning doing some pretty intense brain work, I'd been making a lot of decisions, doing a lot of thinking, and by the time it got to lunch and we found ourselves at a cafe to, you know, to have some lunch, I just thought, oh, my brain is toast. You know, I had classic decision fatigue. I didn't want to make another decision. So I was staring at this menu going, oh, what do I want to eat? Do I want a bacon roll? Do I want the um, macaroni cheese? Do I want the fish finger wrap? Um, in the end, I decided I went for the black bean and avocado tortilla. And when we sat down, two minutes later, the waitress came over and she said, oh, do you know what? I'm really sorry, but we've run out of the black bean and avocado tortilla. But what she said next was brilliant, because she said, listen, we're happy to replace it with anything you like on the menu. Can I suggest the spicy bean burger? And I thought, yes, absolutely, that will do. Give me that one, sorted. And I didn't have to um, go back to the till and quibble over the difference or pay the difference or anything like that, but I also didn't have to go through the menu again and revisit that decision. What she gave me was the gift of clarity. Another example of this, um, a few months ago my local food bank started an initiative where they asked people to pledge to give a certain item um, for um, once a month for, for four months in a row. And they had a list of items that they needed. And I just went through the list and picked, I think we went for pasta sauce. And we decided to give two jars of pasta sauce every month for four months. At the end of those four months, they sent us an update things they had plenty of and things that they were short of. And pasta sauce they had plenty of, so I switched to tin fish and pledged to give two tins of fish every month for the next four months. And the thing is, up until that point, I would have classed myself as a pretty strong supporter of the food bank, um, of our local food bank. But actually, if you looked at my donation history, it was pretty sporadic. So I would donate usually when it came up to Christmas time or if I, it happened to cross my mind, and you know, it wasn't a regular and it wasn't a consistent thing. But not because I didn't want to, but because every time I donated, it involved making several decisions. What should I donate? What's gonna be useful? Which brand, how much, how often? Tiny little decisions, but each of those meant I had to give some kind of attention to it. And what that ended up doing was every time I went, oh, I can't quite think, I can't quite make that decision, that decision would get delayed. And the result for the food bank was they didn't get a donation. So the beautiful thing about this is sometimes when we give people the gift of clarity, we actually make it easier for them. So why don't we do that more often? Well, often it's because we don't want to appear demanding or we don't want to appear rude or um, you know, we just want to be willing to serve um, uh, or willing to receive help. Uh, but what happens is when we're too willing to serve, we're too open-ended, we're too broad about what we're offering or what we're asking for. So we say things like, what would you like? We say things like, um, how can I help? Or let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if I can be of service. The problem with that is, most of the, us these days can hit decision fatigue really quickly and really often. And when we're faced with decision fatigue and somebody says to us, how can I help? We'll go, I'm not sure, I'll come back to you on that. Or if somebody goes, here, would you like something? Can I help you? Um, or can you help me even? We might go, yeah, I'd like to, but I don't know what I want to say, therefore I will wait and I will delay that decision. So why might want you want to give somebody the gift of clarity. Well, if you want to make it easier for someone to buy from you, or to work with you, or to help you, or to support you, or if you want to make that customer service experience, or that customer experience smoother, more productive, and just something that feels really good, something that you could do that would make life easier for them is to give them that gift of clarity, is to make that decision easier, make it clearer, make it more specific. So this is my productivity prompt to you this week. Where in your relationships, your working relationships, whether that's with your colleagues, with your clients, or with your manager, which working relationships could you do with giving the gift of clarity? And how might you go about doing that?
Have a play with that and let me know what you come up with. Now, if this is something you struggle with, I do offer a clarity shot session where I get together with you one-to-one -to -one on, you know, either face-to-face -face, on Skype or on the phone for an hour where we work out and get really clear about something that you're kind of confused about or you're feeling foggy about. So if you're thinking, yes, I definitely want to improve that, you know, that message or that offering or that working relationship, but I don't know what I want to say, or I don't know how to say it, then let's get on a call together. You can send me all the emails or the, the thing that you're working on in terms of like, here's how I'm trying to do it in the moment. Help me, you know, help me get clearer on it. And then we can work together for an hour and get really, really clear on that. If that's something you think, actually, yeah, I could do with that help, first portal call is drop me an email. Tell me a little bit about your situation. What is it that you want to get clearer about? And then I'll let you know, you know how I can help, when I can help, and what's involved with that. So email is grace at grace martialcom Hopefully I've made that a clear offer for you as well. Um, but let me know whether you decide to take me up on that offer or whether you just decide to play with this idea of giving the gift of clarity. Let me know how you get on and I look forward to hearing from you.